For today's lesson, we are going to define and describe the union and intersection of sets and illustrate the difference of two sets and complement of a set. And finally, we have to use the Venn diagram to represent set operations. Okay, so the first set operations, we have the intersection of sets. So, what is it? What is intersection of sets? So, we have it here. So, the intersection of set A and B written with this uh, symbol, no? So, we have like inverted U. So, that's the symbol of the intersection. Is the set containing the elements that are in both A and B. What does it mean? So, yung elements na meron si set A at si set B, which means they have common elements. Remember the word both. So, which means na naan ni A o naapod ni B. Okay, so for example, we have the elements of A, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The elements of B, 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Now, you look at the elements of A and B. What elements that they have in common? 3, 5, and 7. So, which means the intersection of A and B are these elements 3, 5, and 7. Which means they have common elements. That's their common elements. Na meron ni A at meron ni set B also. Now, we can also show and represent this using the Venn diagram. Okay, so so we have set A and set B. Since set A and set B have common elements, which are 3, 5, and 7. So in our Venn diagram, the circles, the two circles should intersect. Okay, now what element should we write first? Okay, so we have to write the 3, elements that we have in common here at the middle sa gitna, no? 3, 5, and 7. Why? Because set A and set B intersect these three common elements. So, anong ilagay sa set A? Yung wala sa set B. So, what are these elements? 1 and 9. And for set B, na wala sa A, element 2 and 11. Okay, so when the two sets intersect, so as you can see in our Venn diagram, these uh, sets are also called joint sets. Why joint sets? Because they intersect. Okay, so if my common elements, so when we draw a Venn diagram, it should intersect. Okay, so let's have another example. We have set A, the elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, set B, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, check if they have common elements. So, let's try to find the intersection of set A and B. Now, can we find the common elements? No. They have no common elements. That's why the intersection of A and B is a null set. Okay? So, empty set. Kasi walang common elements. So, when we draw a Venn diagram, they should not intersect. It's like this. Okay? So, they have to separate. Okay? No intersection because walang common elements. So, this is also called disjoint sets. Disjoint. Okay? No? Another set operation, we have the union of sets. So, what is union of sets? The union of set A and B written with this symbol. Okay? It's like U is the set of all the elements that are in A or in B or in both A and B. What does it mean? Which means all the elements of A and B are combined. All the elements, which means pinagsama-sama natin yung elements ni A at ni B. Okay. okay, from the word union, it means to unite or to combine. Okay, that is the concept of 
Okay, for example, let's find the union of set A and B. So, what would be the answer? So, the elements would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Nga man. So, set A has the elements of 1, 3, 5, 7. Set B, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have to combine all the elements. It means ato isagol, no? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Now, what happened to 1 and 3 since they have common elements? Wag isulat repeatedly. Okay? So, just write it once. Kausarata uh, musuwat, no? If na ay uh, nagbalik-balik na number or pariha. Okay? Again, union of sets, we have to combine the elements. Okay? Now, let's try to uh, present this using the Venn diagram. Again, since meron silang common elements, na 1 and 3, so they have to intersect still, no? So, that's their uh, common elements. And then, write the elements of A na wala ni B. Okay, unsa man? So, 5 and 7. So, yun ang ilagay sa A. And sa B, elements na wala ni A, which is 4 and 2. Okay. So, this is now the sample uh, Venn diagram of union of sets. So, if you are asked to get the intersection of sets, so other common elements is 1 and 3. Okay? So, the answer is only 1 and 3. That's the elements. But when you are asked to get the union of sets, then ilagay lahat, no? Ang mga elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Then, okay, let's have a practice. So, set A has the elements of 1, 3, 5, 7. Set B, we have 2, 3, 5, 7. Set C, 2, 4, 6, 8. And set D, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what we are going to do is to find the intersection and uh, union. So, let's have number 1. Intersection of A and B. Now, intersection. So, we have to find their common, common elements. So, what are the common elements of A and B? We have 3, 5, and 7. So, we have to write here the intersection of A and B, 3, 5, and 7. So, that's the answer. Okay? So, next, we have number 2, union of A and B. So, when you say union, we have to combine. Okay? Oh, it means atong A sagol. So, you look at the elements of A and B. So, when we combine them, the answer would be 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, oh, so just write it once, no? Don't write repeatedly if my uh, elements na common or na nagbalik-balik na elements. Okay, let's have number 3, intersection of A and C. Intersection, again, common elements of A and C. So, check saan yung common elements nila. Okay, we have... What's the answer? The answer is null set. Why null set? Because wala silang common elements. So it's an empty set or null set. No common elements. Okay, let's have number four. Intersection of C and D. Or set C and D. Check the intersection. Okay, meron. Okay, so meron common elements which is two and 4. So, therefore, the intersection of set C and D, okay, here is 4 and 2. Okay? Union of B and D. Uh, you check the union, so we combine again. Okay? Ato isago, no? So, what would be the answer? So, we have the elements 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Okay, again, merong nag-repeat or pariha or nagbalik-balik na number, just write it once. Don't write it repeatedly. Merong nag-repeat or... Another set operation, we have the complement of a set. Now, when we say complement, the complement of a set A written with this symbol, no? So, merong apostrophe sa ibabaw ng A. Okay, sa ibabaw ng set is the set of elements in the universal set 
that are not in A. What does it mean? So, when we say complement of set A, yung mga elements na nandoon sa universal set, pero wala sa set A. So, when we say complement of set A, yung elements na present sa universal set, makikita mo sa universal set yung elements, pero wala sa elements ni set A. Yun ang complement of set A. In short, we need universal set. Okay, let's have an example here. Okay, so, we have universal set or U. Uh, the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, this is our universal set. And then, we have another set, A, B, C, and D. Okay, so, A has elements of 2, 4, B, 2, 3, 4, set C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, set D, walang elements. So, null set siya. Okay? Now, complement of A, or we can also say A complement. Remember, when you say complement of set A, yung nandoon sa universal set, pero wala sa set A. Now, you go back to set A, you look at the uh, elements 2 and 4. Okay, anong elements na wala sa set A, pero nandoon sa universal set? We have 1, 3, and 5. Therefore, that's the elements na wala sa set A, pero nandoon sa universal set. Now, how about complement of B or B complement? Again, you check the elements of B. Anong elements na wala ni set B, pero nandoon sa universal set? We have 1 and 5. Okay, that's correct. How about C complement or complement of C? Now, check the elements of C. As you notice, all the elements of C are also in the elements of the universal set. So, what does it mean? So, nandoon lahat. So, therefore, the C complement is a null set or empty set. So, wala. Walang elements, no? Okay. How about complement of D or D complement? Now, as you can see, check the elements of D. Walang elements. So, therefore, copy all the elements of the universal set. See? Check the... How are we going to present this using the Venn diagram? So, for example, we have uh, A complement or complement of A. That's the universal set. So, inside, we have the set A, that's a small circle, So which means all the elements in here are in the universal set. However, as you can see, the set A, only 2 and 4 are inside because the elements of set A are only 2 and 4. So, bakit si 1 and 3 and 5 nasa labas ni set A? Because they are not in the elements of set A, but they are in the elements of the universal set. Okay? Now, let's have the B complement. Now, again, 2, 3, and 4, nasa loob ni set B. 1 and 5, nasa labas. Kasi hindi siya uh, elements ni set B. Okay? Okay, for C complement, as you can check, the uh, elements of set C are nandoon lahat sa loob ni set C. Okay? So, for D complement, Okay, so since uh, set D is empty set, walang laman, okay? But, nasa loob ng universal set. So, yun yung ang D complement. Let's move on to the difference of two sets. So, when we say difference of two sets, from the word difference, so it's like subtraction. So, magbabawas tayo, or meron tayong kukunin, okay? So, or take away. So, that's it. Uh, that's the difference of two sets. So, for example, A minus B. So, you look at the elements of A and B. So, elements A, 1, 2, 4, 5. Elements B, 2, 3, 5. Anong elements ni B na meron si set A? So, which means ilang common elements nila. Okay? So, check the common elements, 2 and 5. So, kukunin natin yung common elements. So, anong may iwan? Anong elements na may iwan? 1 and 4. Okay? 
So how about this one? B minus A. Again, check the elements of set A and B. Anong elements ni A na meron si B? Oh, the same. 2 and 5. So anong element ni B na mai maiiwan? Okay? So only 3. Okay, so that's the answer. So, kukunin natin yung mga common elements nila. Okay? That's the difference. So, next, we have uh, number 3, A minus 6. Okay? Again, check the elements of A and set C. Anong elements ni C na meron si A? Okay, their common elements, 1 and 5. So, anong elements na maiiwan ni A? 2 and 4. Okay? So, mura na tayo nag-minus ane, no? So, how about C minus D? Okay, check the elements of C and D. The common elements is 5. So, kukunin natin yung 5. So, anong may iwan ni set C? 1 and 3. Okay, next, number 5. D minus A. Check the elements of A and D. So, anong common elements nila? 2, 4, and 5. So, anong may iwan ni set D? Wala. Wala nang maiiwan. Okay? Kinuha lahat ni set A. Okay? So, null set.